Hello and welcome to another Double Sleeve Review, where today we're looking at the Gamegenic Squire 100 Plus deck box. Let's see how it does in our deck box review. In our deck box reviewing format, we break things down into five categories. Quality, security, storage, accessories, and price. So, as with most game genic deck boxes, we see a similar formula employed here with the materials used. We have their patented uh, Nexo fiber outer um, and the microfiber inner across both the main compartment and the lid. Um, the lid is actually stitched, uh, which is quite nice, uh, makes it a little bit stronger as well as it being glued. And the inside has a stitching on the Nexo fiber, uh, I think attaching it to the sort of cardboard that is used to uh, keep it rigid, uh, but is not stitched all the way through. It would just, I guess, be too difficult to do so. Um, but it means that you have this nice microfiber inner, which we see on most game genetic deck boxes. Um, it is fairly robust um, for a card board box it's pretty good you can um, squeeze it when it's not uh, fully assembled it does have a little bit of a bend to it um, but when it's fully assembled it is really tough and you would have to go some way to bend break snap uh, or in some way you know, ruin this box and um, we think it's a pretty good quality to be fair uh, um, and the the closure and fixture of the magnets is uh, nice too so well done on the quality when it comes to security, it is a magnetically closed lid, uh, and there is only so far a magnetic closure will go in securing your cards. Over the years, we have found that it is very difficult to get a magnetic lid that is uh, perfect in terms of shaking this box upside down full of 100 double sleeve cards. Um, and as you can see, uh, the same is said here. It is good and will withstand most, if not all things that no doubt will be thrown at it. However, um, if it goes through some unnecessarily rigorous uh, shaking or if in some way one of the magnets is compromised, um, it will be subject to spilling all your cards all over the place there is no sort of second backup uh, thing that could happen uh, it will just uh, open uh, which isn't ideal however it is still uh, a pretty nice thing um, and it says it is convertible uh, it's called the convertible squire i guess uh, because the lid comes off and can be reattached um, on the bottom, which isn't nothing that is useful, much better than some deck boxes that leave the lid attached and kind of just a, a, on the table around. This can be attached to the bottom, and it does give you a couple of options to reattach the lid uh, to slant the deck box a little bit. Not sure it's necessarily a big selling point, but potentially it's something that might be useful to you. But either way, not a perfect to score for security, but still pretty good. When it comes to storage, uh, the box says it stores 100 double sleeved cards and has an asterisk that says uh, Game Genic inner and outer sleeves. Now, we did test with both Game Genic inner and outer sleeves, which you can see here does fit 100 double sleeved cards. And we also tested with Dragon Shield inner and outer sleeves, which we have found to be the thickest of the inner and outer sleeves. Not resealable Dragon Shields and not extra thick uh, inner sleeves. These are just standard Dragon Shield inner and outer sleeves, which we think are some of the best combinations, although Game Genic are pretty good. Um, and unfortunately, only 95 double sleeved cards fit. So a word of caution when buying this box, if you're someone that uses Dragon Shield inner and outer sleeves to double sleeve your decks and you want to fit 100 double sleeve cards in a deck box, as far as we're concerned, that will not fit in this box. If you're somebody that is looking to do the full whammy and you want to go fully into the brand of Game Genic and buy the inner and outer sleeves, which you can watch our reviews, the inner and outer sleeves are good, the inner sleeves probably some of, if not the best inner sleeves on the market, um, then by all means, they will fit 100 double sleeve cards. Um, it is a tight fit, but it does fit and um, it certainly won't compromise the cards, but definitely something that we found interesting and something we'll be including in all of our testing going forward. 
When it comes to accessories, uh, as per any of our deck boxes that don't contain an accessory compartment, um, it doesn't have accessories uh, built into it. Um, you could have a 60 card deck in this deck box and have room for some tokens or dice or something, but that's kind of defeating the point, I think, in many ways. Uh, it does not contain enough space for any form of accessories. And now for price. Uh, we sell this deck box on our UK site for around £15, just under. Um, however, make sure you do your own research on price because we don't ship all over the world and there could be places that do good deals and offers. Um, and you might find that it's a lot more expensive or maybe not even available to you wherever you are. Um, either way, £15 is um, about to middle for the kind of deck box that stores 100 double sleeve cards, plenty of cheaper ones, and obviously plenty of more expensive ones. So there you go, the Game Genic Squire. Um, quite a nice box, I would say, to have around. It's quite a, a pretty little thing, comes in lots of nice vivid colours, and um, yeah, overall very competent box uh, let us know your thoughts below though do you have this how do you think it compares to the sidekick which is basically the same thing but turned on its side um do you want a new deck box and if so would this be the one you choose are there other products we need to review let us know as well like this video we would really appreciate it and um subscribe if you haven't there are plenty of you that don't subscribe to the channel and we would really like you to it really helps us know that this content's getting to you and you're enjoying it um and that's all we can say we'll see you guys in the next one goodbye